Take a good look at her guys because she is not gonna be looking like this for much longer. I just want to make this clear right in the beginning. Today's video is not going to be your average video of me going out, riding with my friends and getting into the most chaotic situations. This is a video that I've actually had planned for a very long time now. As you guys know, it's been a crucial winter, so it's been very hard to work with the weather. And this is something that you need to be in like warmer temperatures. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to transform your bike in about 10 minutes with just some paint stripper and some spray paint. I know you guys have been talking shit on my bike for the longest time. It's all scratched up, it looks like crap. Pans, go get a new bike, Pans, that a lot. Today, we're changing up the bike, okay? Take a good look at my bike. This is the last time you're gonna see it like that. Just like that, we got the bike completely stripped. So there we have it, my bike is completely taken apart. This took about maybe two minutes to do. For those of you guys that are new to BMX, I'm quickly gonna run through the tools that I use to take apart my bike. Not necessarily the best, but they do the job. First, obviously a hammer. We use these to take off the cranks. Second, we have a shadow breaker right here. Third, just some Allen keys. I only use the six mil to take apart my entire bike. To take off the wheels, we needed a 17 with an extension because we ride pegs. I'm gonna quickly run through some of the products that I will be using, you know, to get my bike looking A1 again. We need some wind to clean off the bike because it's filthy. Some paint stripper to take off all the crusty old paint. You can find this at your local hardware store, nothing crazy. Spray paint, which I realize that I have nothing left, so I have to go to the store and get more. And then some clear coat. This spray paint actually has a primer in it, so this is a better spray paint. I do recommend you get one of these. It makes your life easier instead of doing multiple layers. Gotta clean this bitch up because she is looking mighty crusty. It's been some time since I, I spray painted this thing or wiped it down, you know? it's. It's been pretty rough. Lastly, you definitely need some cardboard because the paint stripper will eat through anything. So simply get any sort of cardboard, lay it on your table. Um, I'm using the post office boxes. Do not want to get paint stripper on the table. Simply just go out and get some cardboard. So a question I always get is, what frame do you ride? And this is the Too Short Colt frame. This is a frame that I've been running for the past two and a half years. Not exactly just this frame. I've ridden multiple colorways, obviously. This one I actually spray painted myself, as you guys know. Uh, and now we will be stripping this paint off and respraying painting it. First things first though, you do want to take off all the stickers on your frame. For those of you that plan on doing this, um, it'll just make your life so much easier. So we need to get this sticker off, which Justin put on my bike the other day. Uh, and then we need to get all the other stickers off as well. So now that all the stickers are off, as you can see, they came off in one piece. It's time to start stripping it. You need gloves. You need gloves because if this shit touches your hands and then you touch your eyes, it's going to fucking burn like a bitch. But obviously, like I said earlier, I don't have the best equipment. So we're going to use a brush. We're going to pour this on the brush. We're going to pour it all over the frame. She's working pretty damn good. It's just pretty much like one little thin layer of white spray paint, so it should be fairly easy to go through. Once it's done eating it up, that's when we go through and we'll wipe it down with some paper towels. One thing that I definitely recommend though when you're putting the paint stripper on the frame, make sure you throw gloves on there. Don't do little thin layers because you want the paint stripper to eat up the paint, especially if you have multiple layers underneath. Here we got the update. We got most of the one side done. However, there are little specks here and there that I'm probably gonna have to sand down. This is the other side though. We still have to strip this down. When I first started using the stripper, it was about halfway full. Now there's about a quarter left. Also, I already finished one roll of paper towels. For the most part, the frame is now stripped down to the bare metal. However, there are a few little specks here and there of white paint, which I'm gonna have to sand down. I do recommend that you guys have some sort of light sandpaper around just in case you run into the same situation as me where some little specks you can't get off with the uh, paint stripper. Also on my frame, there are a few spots that are rusty, which is very important to sand down, especially because when you're painting your bike a light color, like white, you're gonna see that. But I'll show you guys the frame. It does need some sanding, nothing crazy, but for the most part, it all came off. It worked out very well, so we're gonna sand this down now, and I'll catch up with you guys after when it's completely done, and we'll start painting it. All right, check it out. This is what the frame is looking like. We've got it all sanded down. I didn't go too crazy back here, especially because this is just gonna get all messed up so quick. Also, I will be running a new frame within the next month. But yeah, I think she looks pretty good. Like I said, I didn't go too crazy because I'm gonna be riding a new frame next month. I think it should only take about an hour to paint this. Maybe less, it usually dries up fairly quick. But check it out, this is the frame. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be very upset, but I'm retiring the Pink Vans tires. Yes, the time has come. 
I am retiring the pink tires. I love them though, and uh, I'll probably end up riding them in the future, but as of right now, I kind of want to switch it up. You should always wipe down your frame with some Windex glass cleaner, whatever you want to use after you sand it down because there's so much dust on it and you don't want that to stay on it while you paint it. Right on the frame. Jesus Christ. Bam. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very, very long process. Maybe a 10 minute video, but it takes me all day to do. That's why I don't do it often, and that's why my bike was very ugly for a long, long time. Very crusty, but now it's gonna look good. Now that the frame is completely wiped down, it is ready to be painted. We're gonna go run to the Home Depot real quick. We're gonna get some white spray paint. We're also gonna get some clear because shit's empty. All you need is one of these, and you can spray paint the entire frame. Right, so now that we have the spray paint, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I always do when painting a frame. I always find like a metal hanger. And what I do is I untangle it. So I'll split up like this. I'll put this through the hourglass, the head tube, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And I would hang it up somewhere. This way you could get every single angle and you're able to see everything when you're spray painting it. Normally I would wait for like a warmer day to spray paint the frame. That way the paint sticks a lot better, but this is how we're doing it. Yeah, here we go. A few moments later. So for the most part, the frame is pretty much done. You guys could see for yourselves, it's just drying right now. I was getting a little bit nervous having my camera set up on the tripod over there because the overspray was crazy. It's looking pretty good. I mean, I've got maybe like one more coat to do and then we have to do the clear. While I'm waiting for this to dry, which is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would just because how cold it is, I'm gonna insert some footage that me and Austin got at Hunt's yesterday, pretty much a part two. Some pretty fire clips that took us a while to get, especially the long manual line, which you guys will see. Flashback. So now that the frame is dry, which let me say it came out pretty damn good for the time that I put in it, kind of rushed it. I'm going to put on some new parts, which I think you guys will be stoked on, including these white wall tires with the red stripe. Never ridden these before. Super stoked to switch it up. I know a lot of you guys like the pink, but they're uh, kind of faded and it's time. It's, it's time that I switch them up. I also have right here a new Colt Salvation stem. Clean, simple. You know what it is, been riding the same stem for years. Obviously, you know we gotta stay kitted up with the bike lights, especially when you're in the city, you don't wanna get a ticket, so put these back on there, keep it white. We got the Colt back seat, it's leather, it's black. Like I said, I like to keep it simple. I think this bike is gonna look real good because the frame is white, all the parts are black, and then you also have the white wall tires, which is sick. It's another headset. Pretty sure it says maintain every day. I don't really know what else to say, it's just a headset. We also have a new sprocket here, stoked on this. Obviously it's gotta be a guard. Why run a normal sprocket when you could have a guard on it and save your chain, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, you guys probably know that I've been running this sprocket for a while now. This is a prototype DAX sprocket. I do not think they make it in this colorway. Silver, it matched the white pretty damn good though, but it's time to retire this. That's about it, we got the chain, we got the sprocket, we got the stem, we got the headset, we got the bike lights, and most importantly, we got the Vance tires. It is 4.56, we got about like two hours till dark. We're gonna put this bike together real quick. Hopefully get a skate park session in, not promising that, but let's get this bike together. I spray painted my fork very quickly. You can't really even tell that I spray painted it. It looks a lot cleaner, there was a few scratches, now you can't even tell.
on how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. I really, really love the white with the red. It really pops. I don't have a FTL sticker though, which I'm pretty fucking bummed about because the Apple makes it pop and it also would match the tires. I ran out of van stickers. We got a Colt sticker on here that you can't even see because we got the white on white, but I got another SOS sticker on there. Yeah, I'm stoked on the bike. The only thing that I had a problem with was putting on the drive side hub guard. I've never ridden the drive side hub guard and uh, it seems that like my cranks are locked up right now. So I'm gonna figure that situation out. But right here behind the lens, we got Mike. He's here for one reason and one reason only. Came here to scoop the parts. <laughs> he came here to scoop the parts, but hold up. He's got a new hat and he's got a fresh cut, which he was freaking out about when we were on that Dude, trip. I needed a haircut so bad. You look good, you look good, you look fine. I already fine. need another one, bro. You know what this is? This is my new fucking haircut. You know what that means? getting some fucking pussy tonight. But yeah, so I had these leftover parts and Mike's bike's looking a little bit crusty, so he's got a seat. He's got a prototype sprocket that no one else has. This is 28 tooth. Perfect. Um, you got a brand new stem. As you can see, it's, it's brand new, you know? I'm missing a bolt, and I also have grips, but. Money man. The tires, you're obviously, you don't want to ride these, right? No. So me, you, and Austin are going to the city, which is today, the day that you guys are watching this video. Simply follow me on Instagram, check my story, probably within the next few hours, and I'm gonna be leaving these somewhere in New York City. I have no idea where I'm gonna leave them yet, but just simply follow me on Instagram, and you guys can walk away with pink tires. So if you live in the area, stay tuned. That's pretty much it. Me and him are about to go to the skate park right now. I'm gonna go test out this bike. If you guys enjoyed yeah. this video, you know what to do. Make sure to subscribe. We're about to hit 50K, Mike. 50 how hey, close dude. are you, bro? Very close, bro. Then the coming. next move is 100K, but we're gonna go cruise the skate park. Hopefully, I can fix this damn drive side hub guard up. This took me all day long, no joke. I woke up this morning, I stripped the frame, and then I had to sand it, right? So that was like three hours. Painted it, and then I had to put it all together, and I'm still here, and it's fucking six o'clock, bro. If you ever bro. go to paint your frame, make sure you spend the whole day doing it. Yeah, you it's worth it. You can't do it in like an hour. No, no, you no. You think you could just go out there with the can? It's not gonna happen. Also, like I said earlier, make sure when when you're spray painting your frame, don't do it like me, you know, don't half-ass it. Make sure you got nice weather because today it was a little cold, it was a little bit windy, and that will mess up the paint, you know? The paint will stick better when it's warmer. And that's really all I gotta say. Stay tuned for a new video dropping tomorrow. You know, he's out here, bro. He's throwing down hammers tomorrow. Peace! <laughs>